Hello, my loves. How are you? This is your girl, Simply Love, with Spiritual Truth Tarot. And I'm here to do uh, a weekly reading for you from the 19th to the 25th. Uh, just want to let you guys know, I am going to go ahead and do the, um, let's see, from the 26th to the 31st. If you want to go ahead and get a $15 reading for 30 minutes. You can go ahead and sign up now. Go ahead and make your payment. Uh, I prefer it to be to Cash App. And my Cash App is uh, the dollar sign Simply Love on Cash App. If you can't do Cash App, you know, uh, do PayPal. All right? Which would be listed below is my email address. But I prefer to have Cash App for, uh, for that amount of money because PayPal does take out, you know, a bit of fees and stuff. So... Uh, and Cash App doesn't doesn't do that, so that's why I prefer that because of the price that I'm giving out for that. So um, <clears throat> you can even call me or text me. That that information is in, in in the description below as well. Um, and like I said, um, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for our Aquarians out here. Welcome to my channel Aquarius. I know your birthday season is coming up. I think around the 21st or the 22nd. I will be having a birthday too as well or a born day I'd say. The day that I was born. Um, but we all been here. You know lifetimes and lifetimes. We know that already. We're in the spiritual realm speaking here. Now I just want to let you guys know that the energies are fluid. Remember, I'm just a messenger. I'm not here to tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Um, spirit is doing all that. I mean, they're, I mean, they're not telling what to do. They're giving you messages uh, for your benefit, whether you know whatever it may be to whoever it may be, whoever has eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, we're entering a new millennium. It's going to be a separation. Okay, of uh, the bad and uh, the good. Okay. A new world is coming. Which world do you want to be a part of? Okay. Which world do you want to be a part of? Because these eclipses are coming in to 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 actually show us who we truly are, or show us who we truly dealing with in life. People, friends, relationship, family. It doesn't matter. Anybody. Okay. And, and people are going to get called out on. This is judgment time. Okay. People are going to be judged harshly. Uh, by the decisions that they make. If you're out there hurting people for no reason, prepare. Prepare to suffer. It's just that it's just the way that you and it's it's the eclipses is like telling you, you know, we're not playing. This is a wake up call. And I know, you know, through the reads that I had last month, oh my God, everything was being exposed. And that's I told you about it when I did the eclipse uh ex explaining it. Uh you know so I know a lot of you are going through transformation, a lot of things that happened that was really tough for you, uh, a tough pill to swallow. But you know, once we do swallow that pill, things do get better. I can tell you that much. It will get better. It's not going to last that way for all, uh, for all the time. You know, you're just making room. Spirit's just asking you to make room so they can bring the good things into your life. You know, as there is in, uh, in uh, you know, heaven is here too you can make your own heaven okay and, and that comes in your subconscious mind like what you manifest what you be is what you bring okay and we're all subject to change every one of us can change i don't care who you are if you're determined to change as a person on the inside and you know straighten up some things that could have ever happened to you no matter what it may be or what the circumstances and we can face that and deal with it Spirit is going to bless your life so so much, so so much to you don't to the point, you know, so you don't really have to do nothing but just sit back and just like be thankful, just be thankful, okay? There's no such thing as death. Death death never happens. Our bodies go, but our spirit is lingering. Our spirit is so we have to make what we need to make here in order to carry through um, because our consciousness goes with us um, it means our personality you know the way we talk the way we walk all that stuff is going to go with you it's not going nowhere because it's, it's you okay it's you so um 
I make the best of let's try to make the best of it. Let's let's get on into this fifth dimension, make up our mind which way we want to go here. Because we don't have much time is running out. Evil will be destroyed. And the the meek shall inherit the earth. That means all those who are doing the right things, uh, connected with spirit, doing what spirit tells you to do, regardless of what situation you're in. Um, not saying you perfect and all nobody you know you just it's just a learning lesson and we all have to learn that lesson instead of repeating things we can't go around hurt one another for no reason especially if people are being good to you it's just it, it don't make sense but you know sometimes you know things do happen that's life life and we see it all around us but you know we old enough to know better than these things now we all we you know I just all I can say is that spirit is out uh, protecting his protecting his pure at heart. Can I say it like that? Those who have pure pure at heart don't have no bad intentions. Not scheming, not scamming, not trying to take nothing from nobody. Um, not trying to just trying to be a real spiritual warrior. Okay, that's what he's looking for. Okay, that's what not that's what the universe is looking for and they will have you under protection to the point you don't have to do nothing okay you don't have to do nothing your enemies are your stepstones let them hate you know what i mean let them hate let them use you let them i ain't saying let them use you like that but if you know you got used and you found out let them cheat whatever they want to do because they're going to reap the uh consequences for it and you can always forgive nothing wrong with forgiving and nothing wrong with taking responsibility for what we do or allow them to do to us. It's just learning from it, you know, is the, the bottom line. So let's get it, Aquarius. I had to just put that in there. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. We're doing from the 19th to the 25th, just seeing what it looks like after the... Uh, The eclipse. It looks like somebody's trying to make a decision regarding something or they're not making it. They're not doing nothing right now. It's like they just sitting back just like chilling and watching. You know, trying to make a, a figure out what they're going to do. They're going to use their mind over their heart this time. And it's you, Aquarius. This is your energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. Somebody's crossed. Somebody's just like, they're not saying nothing. They ain't doing nothing. It could be a temporary pause. There's usually a temporary pause while somebody thinks. While they gather information with those swords. Okay? Waiting for communication. Waiting to see. And then making that final decision. Wow, judgment. Judgment comes up for you. Wow, Aquarius. So, I feel like somebody wants to resurrect something. You know, after carefully thinking about something. That could have put them in the state of, you know, silence. In that silence, like I said, gathering information. Um, listening to spirit guide. So they can make this decision, and it looks like somebody wants to make a reservation. They want to, they want to resurrect something, you know, kind of like start anew. Um, they're being called. This is like um, either you or someone else being called to, to, uh, to come out of the dark, rise to the occasion. See that. And it's also like, you know, somebody rising from the ashes. Somebody was like, if you look in if you look in this picture really, really well, somebody's in like in hell. Because this is nothing but fire and brick. Like somebody's cooking. You know what I'm saying? Cooking. Cooking. Let me see what else I can see in this card. They're naked. So somebody wants to come clean. They want to rise to the occasion. They want to resurrect something. This is resurrection. This is uh, like a, a rebirth, like a, a redo, okay? Coming up out of that whatever they funk that they were in or you were in. Some of you <clears throat> could be dealing with a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. We get choked up sometimes. 
spirit don't want you to say, not spirit, but sometimes they don't want you to get stuff out. But anyway, back to you, Aquarius. Um, you can be dealing with a, uh, what is that? Judgment? Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. Ten of Cups. Somebody wants happiness with you or you want happiness with someone. Somebody wants their family back. Somebody looking at you as like family, like you fit in and you bring some uh, joy and happiness. Or it could be, you know, vice versa. It could be someone else. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, where they feel like you bring joy and happiness and love. Or this is what you want the outcome to be or somebody else wants the outcome to be that way. Or somebody's trying to resurrect um, a, a family situation or something. This is completion, though. It's about completion of a of a family. Somebody wants something. Something happened here, and somebody wants to resurrect it. They want to. They want to. They want this. Somebody wants to come around and get out of the, the muck that they're stuck in. They're stuck in something. They're stuck in their own mishaps or something. Whether it's you, Aquarius, or someone else. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting a I'm hearing it's someone else. It's like you already knew something was going on, but you just didn't want to say anything at that particular time. You kept your mouth shut. Um, some, some of you just almost in a little bit of denial. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're just making a decision about someone who wants to come back around. Saying that they changed. Saying they want this family situation. They, they want you because... Or they feel like your family or someone else. Yeah. It's somebody that broke your heart or was in a third party situation. Okay. Some of you it could still be going on or it, you know it just was that's what caused the problems here. But somebody wants their family back. Somebody wants you back. Aquarius. You're the one heartbroken, okay? Maybe you got broke, heartbroken three times. Maybe you were always getting your heart broken. You know, like I said, with these eclipses, it's time to figure out what it is that you're doing uh, over and over again to cause these heartbreaks because you don't want to get into a state of mind where you don't trust anybody because everybody deserves love. You can get love, okay? You will get love. Don't say you can't. You will get it. You will get it. If someone done this to you, or if you done this to someone, you best believe you me. These eclipses, I'm going to have to keep saying it over and over again because some people just don't get it. Lord have mercy. Yeah, somebody wants to walk away or turn their back on something. They don't quite... I feel like somebody's walking away from this third party because look at this. There's the heartbreak, okay, and there's somebody walking away from it. Somebody's walking away from Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. They're like, I feel like they see see that full moon there. Something's been Something's been revealed, and that's why someone's walking away. I'm, I'm getting two scenarios. Something happened where somebody found out about maybe a family situation, or somebody trying to resurrect something with a family, or something like that, or you know, vice versa. And somebody found out, and it hurt them. Okay, it was some kind of pain about a third party, and somebody was wanting to walk away. Or somebody's thinking about walking away, or they have walked away already. For some of you, Aquarius, I feel like it's mostly you guys wanting to walk away. Not too much hurt and pain behind the situation. Caution. 
cause too much conflict. I mean, you know, like, not conf. Well, a, a lot of inner turmoil, like, not knowing what to do, kind of like, where is this thing going? Like, what, what, where, what are you going to do here? It's like somebody's conflicted or. Oof. Aquarius crying over somebody's. This is not your energy. This is someone else crying over spilt milk. It was like, but there's still two cups in the back of them. If they just stop looking at what happened here, whether it's you or the other person, okay? Don't look at, you know, what's already spilt. Whatever happened already is, is happened. There's nothing else that you can do about it. It's your decision what you want to do about it, though, especially if it was a third party situation and it was, you know, a deception here. That may cause somebody to walk away. Some of you already walked away from this person. Some of you are thinking about it. I feel like there was an outsider that came in to break this relationship up or a partnership up. Let's keep going here. Yeah. But somebody's going to be di very disappointed. They're, and they're in regret to see them covered up in black. Like they don't even want to show their face. They're like, oh my God, I'm so ashamed of myself. I already had two cups. Everything was already stable. What did I go mess it up for? Why did I do that? Somebody's in deep regret. Somebody's in pain. Because, you know, they're, they're cups. But those two cups are still standing in the back. So... Somebody wants to, like, um, somebody wants to apologize. Somebody really wants to, somebody really, it's really, really bothering them. Okay, Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius for the 19th through the 25th? Death. Death. Okay. Endings for new beginnings. Somebody could feel so regretful and they want to say that they're sorry for, you know, for messing up. They just messed up. Somebody messed up. And they may make a, uh, in order to get you back or something, they may, they may, they know they have to make a transformation. They know they got to. They got to come clean. They got to get rid of some stuff. Because if you look here, this person has a sword. See that sword? That's cutting off something. That's cutting out things, people, places that do not belong in their life. So maybe this was meant to happen in order for somebody to rise to the occasion. Like maybe grow the fuck up. Come out of a little mess. Learn, grow up, learn to be a man or a woman, you know, that way you don't have to face this type of situation. All you already had the, you already had, you know, you got Aquarius, you know, you got a, a, a soulmate connection here, or somebody else does, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they somebody did mess up here. And it may cause them to uh, uh, really cut this situation out to have you or to be with you. Seriously, for some of you, I'm picking up that energy. They ready to just cut this stuff out because they are so ashamed of themselves. That's up to you, Aquarius, what you want to do. Okay, it really is. Or up to someone else. Somebody could have been... You or someone could have been talking to a cancer. Yeah. Somebody wants their happiness back. Somebody wants their, their boo back. Or their their man. They want um they want somebody might even offer marriage to some of you, Aquarius. But like I said, that, that's your decision. But this is what spirit is, is saying. 
in this situation. But like like I said, a lot of you is your own decision. You have your own mind, you have your own will. I feel like either way you go here, you could you you win. Whether you walk away, you will find love. Okay? Or if you stay or decide to stay with this person, you're gonna find love and happiness and joy. And a, 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 a equal give and take, like um celebrating together, having fun together, laughing together, you know, feeling like family. This is the family card and it's the eleven eleven card, which is a soulmate connection, as we see here. The two cups in the background. It is a soulmate connection. This person's probably finally realizing that after getting caught up in something that they shouldn't have done. They had no reason to do this. Or you had no reason to do this, Aquarius, if it was you. Here you go. This is you, Aquarius, the star. Whatever you're having faith in, whatever you wish, somebody's saying have faith. And whatever you're wishing for, or it could be this, the other person, but this is your card, though. So your other person could have um, Aquarius in their natal, natal chart or something like that. But this is you getting what you want. This is you being a star. The star that you are. This is you renewing yourself. You're, you know, you're clean. You're clean. You don't have no no clothes on. Okay, that's that's a sign of somebody being clean, like, and and being um true to themselves and true to others. Not trying to hurt nobody. They just don't. You know, they just want to help people. So what you wish for is time to make that wish or time to um, manifest it because you are it is going to happen. Some of you may be uh, there. May, some of you are stars. Maybe you're doing something in front of people, or you know, maybe I feel like some of you are going to be in demand of people. Something here big is happening uh, to you, Aquarius, and it might be due to this betrayal. It's like. A lot of the times, whatever happens to a, a in a betrayal, whoever does the betrayal, it seems like you know, if if you if you think straight and be cool and you know not do all this crazy stuff, you know, um, and just sit back and let spirit and, 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 and let spirit take control because it is once somebody once somebody take an action. That action is a reaction as far as the universe is concerned. The universe is like, okay, you want to put that out there? Okay. You want to mess with my child or you want to, because we're all, we're all, we're all family. Okay. Period. But some people don't have good intentions for uh, people. Okay. Some people don't have their, their good intentions at heart. And see, spirit has to do things like this. Break somebody down. Bring them back down to earth. They have to, you know, they have to do stuff like this. Whether it's for you, Aquarius, for what you need to do, or whether it's for the other person. They could have been dealing with three people. Literally. For some of you. Or it could have happened three times. Come on, come on, three strikes. Yeah, there ain't enough room to put it another dagger in somebody's heart here but it's gonna it's, it seems like it's gonna turn something's gonna turn around because i'm not seeing nothing new unless the death card is like maybe some of you few of you are just gonna just end it and start something new or just you know Take some time out to think uh, and, and, and release a lot of things. Like somebody wants to release this energy of feeling uh, in, uh, in like um, feeling bad or feeling in regret. Um, you know, clothing themselves up. Like you know, uh, I'm you know I'm so embarrassed. And somebody's really feeling bad here now, Aquarius. Really. But with the Eight of Pentacles, they're willing to put all the hard work and effort into it. Now, this is spirit talking, not me. I'm just the messenger. 
But they are trying to put the work in. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They want their Aquarius. That's who they want. And they're willing to put the time in it because they want, they feel like, you know, you family. They might even want to ask you to marry them or live with them or something. They're going to do something drastic, it looks like to me, because death is a drastic, a, a, a big change. Cutting off things, just cutting them off, letting it go uh, for the sake of love, for the sake of, of, of true love and companionship. Something that makes somebody happy. Yes. Willing to put the work in. It's up okay. It's up to you. Because let me tell you something, Aquarius. I'm tell you this right now. Like I said, I don't tell people what to do. Even in my personal private readings, I tell I tell them just like what I'm saying to you guys, like I do all the time. I don't give my suggestions. That's not that's not for me to do. That's not my responsibility. My responsibility is to only to deliver the messages and, and that's it. You know, th through spirit. And the rest of it, you take in your own hands and you make your decision because you have free will. All I'm saying is that some of you... was with someone that had a third party, maybe more than one for some of you. They may have had a couple of things going on. And I feel like some of you are walking away from this situation because it was just like you feel embarrassed. But see, in this card, they got red on. And red represents progress, progression. So you're not going to lose out of this situation Aquarius you're not going to lose you're going to win sometimes like I said your enemies could be the best people that you ever have in your life they could be better than a best friend because what they what what they done is set you up for what they thought that was going to be a come down is going to be a come up and, it, and it's, they're going to witness this and they also have some trials and tribulations going through some things uh, that they have to uh, know that they have to do in order to come out of this feeling of sadness, of uh, feeling alone, and they shouldn't have never done what they've done. They they would be wrapped up, you know, trying to cover herself up. But they're looking at that, them three of cups, that's, and that's what's in their headspace. And they're looking in their emotion, you know, like the emotional part of it. But they're going to... Somebody's going to change their ways here. Somebody's going to cut out a lot of stuff with that sword they got right there. And they're going to renew themselves. Because that's what the death card is. Endings for new beginnings. Some people are just going to end it. It's, you know, it's just going to be the, the end. But with this star card and this wedding card here. Or living together card here. There's somebody... That wants their happiness back. Who makes somebody feel at, at home, like like a family. They feel like you're you're like you're part of the family. They see you as a star. They see you as being blessed and, and, and getting blessings. They see how giving and kind and caring you are, or vice versa, or this it could be the same. But somebody is going to put the work in. Somebody's not going to quit. This person does the same thing over and over and over. You see what? They, you see how focused they are. They could be focusing on work, saving their money, and you know, again, working on this relationship as well, trying to figure out how they're going to put this thing together. They're in some. Somebody's in the process of thinking how. Are they going to put all this together and, you know, to make so everybody can be happy? So everybody can be happy. Not the third party stuff. That has to go. They know they got to cut that out or there will be no happiness. It will be an ending for some of you. But somebody's holding faith as you Aquarius. You're going to get what you want. No matter. Look, I'm hearing spirits say no matter what you do, what choice you make. You're going you're gonna to be fine. You might end up just like 
focusing on your work and nothing else not wanting to be in a relationship and just chill out and you know and pull your own self together you know your wishes are going to come true look all those stars like i said some of y'all uh are in the limelight or or have a following or you know a lot of people are are, are in demand of you and whatever it is that you do and it makes it it makes it it makes you feel like a star or they make you feel like you're a star some people it could be a superstar involved here somebody who's like well known okay that's all I got for you guys okay let me see here I'm gonna get a somebody's gonna get a surprise somebody's surprise Somebody got something cooking for you, Aquarius, because for most of you, or, or 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 it could be half and half. I don't know. It just depends on the situation and what this person, if they really, really come clean. They're going to have to really come clean. And see, again, that red cloth is about uh, strength and courage. It's going to take somebody uh, some strength and courage to pull this off. And they know it. They know it. But they are determined. Somebody's determined. Because when it comes to this Ten of Cups, I'm looking at this another way too. And it's Three of Swords. I want to have to say this because I hear it. I hear it. I can hear Spirit saying this. Like for some of you, somebody could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra on the side. And maybe in this case, you know, maybe why they feel so regretful, they might have, you know, end up losing on both ends. You know, all through, all, all, maybe all of them are gone. Now, now they're left with nothing. You know, three cups turned over, three heart, uh, uh, swords in the in the heart. Some three people could have been saying, "Bye, bitch, I don't need this." It's another. That's another scenario. Somebody went out, probably could have thought they was going to have their way about something. Either it was the other person or you, Aquarius, and because, like I said, the energies can go vice versa. But there definitely was an outside party here. But I'm not seeing. I'm seeing somebody walking. Another scenario. I see somebody walking away from a family. And this. Maybe this other person is hurt. You know. About. About it. Crying over spilt milk. This could be the third party. And because you're making. Or you're making changes in your life. Or they are. Somebody's coming up for judgment. To be judged. By spirit. And the angel guides. And they're going to have to either. They're going to have to either change. Or just stay stuck in the mud. You know stay, stay stuck under. Okay. Let's keep going here. It is what it is. What you put out is what you get out of it, you know. But I feel like some, for some of you, I just feel like there was a family situation. Somebody came out of nowhere wanting to resurrect a situation, is which is another scenario. I keep picking. I got a lot of stuff. He, I hear spirits saying. Uh, wanting to be a family again and all this but somebody just maybe not trusted it or kind of like doubted it or was kind of curious or just was trying to really hurt somebody now that's not good either that's not good either Aquarius if you've done this to someone or someone done this to you that's not good trying to hurt somebody on purpose because maybe they got hurt and got and somebody left them in the cold or left or walked away from a situation and it left them you know very pain 
very painful. Maybe somebody wasn't over that. Maybe they thought they were, but maybe some things kindled back up again. Maybe But the way I'm seeing it here on this last end part here, the outcome is that somebody wants to be with an Aquarius and they're willing to, they're going to give it their all. And when I say give it their all, the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who works really, really hard and they constantly, constantly do, they're determined to do what they, they're, they're, like, they're a perfectionist. Somebody's coming up with a with a plan to do something here. What do we see here? Let's see. Love. Mm. And, and the receive was right down below it trying to come out. So, receive love. Somebody's going to receive love, okay? Somebody's going to receive it. It looks like to me like a for some of you is going to reconsider with somebody that hurt you and they feel really, really bad about it. it. They really do. But they want you to receive their love. See what they're doing there? They made a rock. Somebody made a rock out of a, a heart out of a rock. Like it's, it's like it's, it's like it's the love they feel is solid as a rock. Somebody made a mistake here. Somebody's regretting making this mistake. Aquarius, I feel like you felt like a pawn in this situation. So it, it they're going to have to build your trust back up again if you decide to stay. Because some of you are not staying. Some of you are not going to stay. But somebody wants someone to receive love. You see how he look at that. How he's he made that heart out of rock. He's like come, he's coming up from a hard place, you know, like kind of diving in their emotions now, like really trying to open up. Cause they was hard as their heart their heart was cold. So spirit is trying to say, or yours is trying to say, look. That's why they put that hard rock made of stone in the water. So somebody can open up their heart to receive love. Somebody might have finally do, might end up doing that or, or working on doing that. Or just opening up like, here's the faith card. You need to have faith. You or the other person is having faith with you. They're wishing, hoping, and praying. That you, you give them another, if, you, if some of you I'm picking up, I hear Spirit say it, if you give them a check, you can't win either way, like I said, I'm, I'm saying, you can, you're going to win no matter what you choose. The Spirit's going to give you what you want due to the deception, okay? They're going to make it right for you. And it's, it's, it, it, it's going to make them have to work really, really hard. If they really, really want it. Spirit's going to make them work hard for it. You see them cl climbing a, a, a waterfall with their little hard rock of stone of love. They're trying to, they're trying to dive in their emotions. Because I feel like they've just been operating off of their, just their, um, a cold heart. Like cold, you know, and, and, and somebody's breaking somebody down here. Somebody's breaking somebody down like they in love. They want you to receive love. They want you to have faith in the situation or they're doing this. Somebody came a long way. This this is some type of suffering. Mm, connect. Connect. Somebody's gonna come. Somebody's gonna try to come back and connect. They want you to have faith in the situation. They're gonna connect to you the way you want them to, or what you've been waiting for. You're gonna get what you've been waiting for. Like I said, whether it's somebody new for some of you, or whether it's someone that you already know. They're endowing their. They're endowing their. Their heart is just breaking down to where they have to show their emotions now. They have to connect. 
they know they gotta do this. If they don't do this, then you know it's 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 over. It's overdone and it will never come around again. That's their choice or your choice, Aquarius. It really is. Because somebody is awakening. Somebody's waking up to the situation. Like, I, I'm not going to tolerate. I, I can't tolerate that. I haven't done anything to deserve this. Though none of us are perfect people. We all make mistakes. But um, something like deception... And the person does nothing but help. Is from what I'm seeing, all they want you to do is receive their love. That's all. But there's a lot. This is a big energy of somebody trying, wanting to rekindle. It'll make them so happy. Aquarius or it'll make you so happy your your wish is definitely coming true like I said spirit is going to be with you whether you it whether you stay or whether you go but they're going to make somebody work really hard there you got all kind of spirit guides around you that like if this person does this type of shit again or if they you know keep it Spirit only allow people to get hurt only so many times. And then they got to say, if that person don't do nothing, they step in and cause, you know, havoc. So somebody could just, like, wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. You know? It'll cause an awakening to them. And they definitely are protected by their angel gods here. See? Because they see it. And they've been communicating it to, to you, Aquarius, or you've been something you've been getting some kind of signs signs that something wasn't right you you but you just like was just observing like your spirit guide was telling you you did the right thing just to observe and not really say nothing you just wait for it to come out that's all it's like you know that's why you're that's why some of you aren't really hurt the other person is really really hurt you may be disappointed but you already had a feeling. You already knew something wasn't right, Aquarius. Some people just don't take life seriously. They think it's a big joke. Life is not a joke when you get old enough to know right from wrong. And that's when spirit will deal. That's what the universe will deal. They will take care of business. Yes, they will. You might find out some stuff. For some of you on here, you might find out some stuff like somebody getting in trouble and, or something happened. It, an accident or somebody something even if somebody did want to make up you know they still have to fix but the only thing I'm seeing here for this other person is that they got to work hard for your attention for your love if they want you that much if they want you that bad or just drop it you know what I mean because the uh, you are not going to tolerate any of this type of action and that's what you're trying to tell this person. Even though you love them, I feel like they love you right back. I really do. I just feel like this y'all are off track some kind of way. And spirit's working in the background to bring y'all back on track. Like the like seeing eye to eye. Like, you know, putting getting on the same damn page. Finally, for some of you. Yep. Romance. Somebody wants you back, Aquarius, or you want somebody else back, one of the two, and it's okay. You're going to be blessed anyway, because you got divine guidance next to you. I'm telling you, you got all these angels. This is like the star card, too. It's like, whatever you want, you can have it, because you're the one being blessed. You're the one being blessed in this situation, because I don't feel like... There's nothing wrong on your side. It seems like everything's happening to you for some reason. You're emerging. You're coming out. Somebody's coming out. Okay? 
Somebody's coming out of their bag. A bullshit. Somebody's, you know, discovering themselves and discovering, you know, their uh, ways. Discovering while you, you know, have this divine God is that's what's guiding this whole thing. You know, when it comes to romance. What the fuck my guy here? 45. Oh, Lord. Let me hurry up. Mm. I think that's all I'm going to do. Those three says a lot. Okay, let's get with this. this let, me, let me get you some confidence going on here. Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. <clears throat> Every illness holds a, a lesson for me to learn. That's why I said, you know, maybe for some of you, it's just a learning lesson, something for you to wake up and say, you know what? This is just not for me. I just can't do this. Some of you, it's just like, you know, you it's the other person okay that maybe you know every illness you know everything that happens that's ill that does or, or ill willed or you know holds a lesson to learn somebody's got to learn a lesson here somebody's got to grow the fuck up real quick all right for me to for them to learn somebody got to grow up my mind is a powerful healing tool that's for you aquarius Mm -hmm. I am worth loving and you are worth loving you love others why ain't you worth it put yourself first love yourself first <laughs> At, uh, let me put my glasses on read that part okay, thank you at, at least Three times a day, I stand with my arms wide open and say, I am willing to let the love in. It is it is safe to let the love in. Wow. You are worth love. You are worth love, Aquarius. And you, you know, you're going to, you're manifesting something here. Or somebody else is manifesting something here. You know, they're doing their, uh, they're doing their uh, prayers or they're doing their meditation. It could be two people doing this, manifesting one another, hoping, you know, knowing that, you know, maybe they see their worth. Maybe they see your worth now after a, a bad situation. Did something else fall? I thought something fell, but it didn't. Okay, what else I got here? And I went, wait, did I go way over? Um, playfulness. They want it, you know, to be light. Somebody, you know, just be lighthearted about the situation. Play, have fun. Um, take it lightly. Let the past be the past and move on if you plan on staying with this person. Yeah, this is new beginning. And you got a lot. Look, all them angel guys looking at you. Seeing what you doing, planning, you know, in your favor, that whatever it is that you want. You see that? You see all them guides around? You got so many angel guides and spirit guides and family members looking down on you. Like, they see your heart. They see your heart. And they know you deserve love. And they're going to support you throughout this whole thing. And it's going to bring on new beginnings, whichever way, no matter which way you go here. Don't be afraid. They're saying, don't be afraid. You're going to have lots of abundance, money, finances. You're going to be fine. You're going to be living a high life, Aquarius. You see what I'm saying? When people do you wrong, they your, they the ones that you you know need to be like, don't even bother with. Don't even say nothing because this is what spirit... Spirit sees all. They see all. Your ancestors. 
your family members and what they see they don't like and they're going to bring on new beginnings for some of you or they're going to make somebody else suffer and 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 let them know of it and 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 they may want a new beginning with you but they have to make them go through something or you remember the energy can go vice versa all right wow that was that was not too bad really not too bad not too bad at all but the choice is yours aquarius remember that now let me read from my deck here i messages okay this is for uh love and uh relationships i sold a, a bunch of these things and um people just love them i love them i like them myself i use them for myself every day i wake up and, and read them you know when i'm home when i'm home i do a lot of stuff for me you know what i mean you know i pamper myself and stuff like don't don't ever don't ever put anybody above you you can support someone and help someone but don't never put nobody ahead of you don't make them don't do that don't do that it's not worth it you put yourself first and then everything else will be taken care of okay be be thankful for bad relationships because good or bad past or present he or she made you the person you are today so this is going out to some aquarians like you know what no matter what and i've said this earlier there ain't don't do nothing don't say nothing don't try to get this person back because all if you try to get somebody back all that's going to happen is this group will come right back around to you see the energy is going to come back to you and so what was you know what's the blessing in it you trying to do something to somebody or trying to whatever you try to do here to you know good or bad past or present he or she made you the person that you are going to be and you are going to be abundant aquarius you're going to get a lot a whole lot whatever you pour it out Whatever you poured out from the past, things, relationships, people, friends, family, it's getting ready to flood you and you ain't even going to know how to act. I feel like a lot of you are already doing good, but it's going to get better. Some of you need to watch out for somebody who's trying to come back because they might just might want to ride that boat. That's what I'm hearing. They just might want to ride that boat. But for some of you, most of you, I'm feeling like they being honest. They really sorry. But like I said, the decision is yours. No, and I'm hearing Spirit say no matter what decision you make, that you're going to be happy out of the whole situation, whichever way you go. So follow your heart, okay? Because you're never alone. This is what your ancestors are saying, okay? This is um, speaking to heaven cards. They're heaven speaking to you cards. And there's there's someone who's, you know, on the other side telling you this. They watch you got I'm telling you you got a bunch of angel gods and spirit gods. Because you've been doing nothing but do the right thing, Aquarius, to people. And what do you get in return? You get spirit. The best thing that you could ever have. You get your angel gods, you get the, the universe doing for you. Without you having to lift the fingers like they're going to lay something in your hands. You are never, ever, don't ever think that you are alone. Because you're not. You got help. You got aunts, nieces, nephews, spirit guys, angel guys, Archangel Michael, who is the leader of all. Now, you don't want to, when Archangel Michael comes in the picture, you don't want to mess with this person. That's God's. That's God's prote that's your the protection of the big the big one. That's the big one. So there you go, Aquarius. Please put your comments below. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning that tw from the tw 26th to the 31st, I want to be doing the um the $15 readings for 30 minutes for you guys because I know you know money is short for a lot of people, and I just want to show my appreciation. I do this kind of stuff all the time. So, you know. I ain't desperate for no money or nothing like that. 
you know I'm, I'm just not that type of person I'm a very given person I really really care from the bottom of my heart um I, I just want you know at this door in this time I know people could be low on funds I always really do it a lot I even do it when it you know when it's like no kind of season or celebration or stuff I just come out there and say you know what it's time for me to help some help some people it's time for me to bring some people in you know so that means you know cutting prices down because people have been spending money you know on Christmas their children and New Year's all that stuff that I, that I don't particularly partake in myself I take it you know I partake in you know spirituality and trying to get myself together spiritually um, until I you know until it's time for me to go because we're going we're all going one day and it's not bad it's just a happy it's a happy thing celebrate it because you're, you're going to be free from everything no more pain there's no crying there. I want y'all to um, listen to a song I, mean, I, I really went over with you guys my god I hope all I ask for you to do you know like share and subscribe you know because y'all got this big ass re I, and I got to get out everything that I'm hearing I can't just slip through the crevices and stuff because that'll make me wrong okay for doing you guys wrong I got to give you my all it's not just because I'm no Aquarius and nothing like that. It's just that I heard so much in my ears are, that are, are, my ears are ringing, okay? And I had to get all that out. And um, I, 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 I'm hearing that's it. You, need, you got what you needed to hear. God bless you all. Because you're all going somewhere big. Something big is coming. Just hold on. I'm hearing spirits say, hold on. It's coming. No matter what you do, what choice you make, you're still going to be happy, babes. And that's the happiness of it all. That way you ain't got to sweat. Okay? You ain't got to sweat it. There ain't nothing to sweat. You didn't do anything. <laughs> For some of you. Some of you, you may have done something. Again, don't forget, I'm going to put a video out, you know, about the... Uh, I prefer to have Cash App, okay? And my Cash App is dollar sign simply love. I took off the S, the other S, because people were thinking that I was making a mistake and they was making payments with dollar sign S, and I wasn't, you know. So it is dollar sign S is down in the description below. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Hurry up and get your, um, you know, pay and get and get it scheduled. Make sure you put in. You can do PayPal too, but I prefer, if you do PayPal, do friends and family. But if you're going to go through, um, you're going to have to send me your information, either your email or especially your phone number, because I'm going to call you and we're going to make appointments from the 26th to the 31st. And it's going to be first come, first serve. There's no, oh, I got to wait till I get paid next week and stuff like for $15 for 30 minutes. You, you, nobody's got $15. That's nothing nothing okay it's nothing so if you feel like you need a reading now's the time to do it with simply love if that's what you want to do it's up to you not forcing you it's just out there and wh whoever wants it you're able to get it but you're going to have to make your payment ahead of time before it gets filled up because i'm not i'm only going to take so many i'm not going to burn myself out because i got other things that i have to do besides being on youtube Okay, so I want to thank you guys so much, so much. Love you all. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the new millennium. Because I see you, all you guys there. You made it. You crossed over. Congratulations. Much love. Bye.